Well, a nearly two hour rain delay could not stop Stetson in North Florida, nor would it stop former Hatter Austin Bogart from hitting a home run in his first bat back at Melching Field in a UNF uniform. Hatters would answer back in the bottom of the third. Kyle Ball with an RBI single to make it 1 1. The Hatters, though, would give the lead right back up. A couple of errors leading to an RBI double by Aiden Sweat, and then Abraham Sakara would put the cherry on top. UNF didn't give up the lead after that. They win 7-3 in the series opener. Well, runner on third. That one's driven into deep in center field. This one might be trouble going back, 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 and oh not, make, not, not making the catch there is the center fielder, Maribel, and cruising over the third base for a triple as that one goes off of him. It's Christian Bregis, an RBI triple. 1-2 to Sweat. Cut on and missed strike three. He was just getting warmed up. Back from the delay, Garcia strikes out the side in the top of the second. 2-2. Two -two. Line shot, center field, base hit. Christian Pregent gets the Hatters going in the bottom of the third. Smacked in a left field, that's a base hit. Regent coming around third and bobbling the ball in left field was Grodi, and that'll allow the run to score without a much of a contest. Grodi would have had a play at the plate if he'd fielded that cleanly and come up with it. Instead, it's an RBI single for Kyle Ball, and the Hatters tie the game. Very nice hitting there from Kyle Ball to drive that one into left, and yeah, you see the bobble there. It would have been a lot closer, or it would have been a close play at the plates. And Pregent, or Pregent able just to cruise into home. Bogart who hit the home run off of Garcia. And this time robbed of a hit by Brandon Hilton. It looked like Hilton had waited too long to throw the glove up, Kenny, and then all of a sudden it was in his mitt. Yeah, it really did, but Watch how long it out. takes him to, to throw the glove up here. Oh, he's not. That's a great catch in the order as he takes the first pitch call for a strike and takes the second one, drives it into center right center field, and that one's going to get down. He's turning around first and heading into second, and he's just going to cruise into there. So a leadoff double there for the freshman, Ryan Guida. No outs runner on third. That one's driven into deep center field. This one might be trouble going back, 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 and not, make, not making the catch there is the center fielder, Maribel, and cruising over the third base for a triple as that one goes off of him. It's Christian Pregents, an RBI triple. That one's down the line and right for a two out trying to turn it into two as he goes over to second and he's going to get thrown out. A great throw over by Hurton Sardinius and a great tag there by Kyle Ball to end the inning. And after what looked like was going to be a two out hit, it's a race there by the Hatters as they head to the bats once again down five to three. Swing the bats here once again as that one is in trouble. Is that one's gonna get down at the 375 sound out in right, and he's gonna cruise into second for a double. So a single, a triple, and a double now for Christian Pregents. Here with two outs. First, first career strikeouts for Stetson. The one-two. Swing and a miss. Great punch out there for Austin Amaral to get his first strikeouts here in Deland, and he gets the former hatter, Austin Bogart. Just blew, Just blew, right past. Yep, blew him away. He's on deck. The 3-1. He's going to get down. First single, two-out single there for Hernan Sardinius, and that one wasn't going to get in the glove of anybody there. So that was a nice rip.